Zenkers diverticula, mid esophageal, or epiphrenic diverticula. Okay. Now, as we can see here, there is inferior pharyngeal constrictors. This is pharynx. This is inferior pharyngeal constrictor or thyropharynx. Thyropharyngeus. This is Cricopharynx, Cricopharyngeus muscle, and below there is this is longitudinal muscle, of esophagus. Okay. In between, there is a space which is known as lamer space, and this space in between the inferior pharyngeal constrictor and uh, cricopharynx is a Killian's dehiscence or a Killian space. Okay, now this uh, Zenker's diverticulum it occurs in the Killian's dehiscence. Now there is another uh, diverticula, Killian Jamieson diverticula, which is seen here. I'll mark it as red. Okay, here. This is present laterally and below cricopharyngeus. So the Killian Jamieson diverticula is present laterally and below cricopharyngeus. Whereas this Zenkers diverticulum is present centrally and above cricopharyngeus. Pharyngeus. Okay. Now, uh, whenever the Zenkers diverticulum becomes big, whenever the Zenkers diverticulum becomes big, it goes laterally towards the left side, which is more common. Okay. So, the Zenkers diverticulum initially it originates centrally, it remains centrally, and whenever it will become big, so it goes laterally towards the left side. Okay. So, this is the Zenkers diverticulum. We will discuss Zenkers diverticulum in detail. Zenkers. Generally, you will see the question like this. There is a old patient having halitosis, neck bulge, reflux and barium swallow finding will be given barium swallow is something like this so what is the diagnosis sometimes to confuse you guys they may give that neck bulge is seen in laterally or in left side or in right side or something like that but if there is halitosis there is neck bulge there is reflux and if there is some out pouching which is present in the neck, you should go for Zenkers diverticulum, which is also known as pharyngeal pouch. Okay, clear. So 
Zencus is the most common type of diverticular among the all esophageal diverticulars. Zencus is the most common. It is a false diverticular. False diverticular means that it includes only mucosa and submucosa. It is a pulsion diverticular. Pulsion diverticular. And it occurs due to increased pressure in the cricopharynx because, as I have already told you, it is uh, coming from the Killian's dehiscence. There are two muscles the thyropharyngeus, part of inferior constrictor, and cricopharyngeus. Whenever there is lack of coordination between these two muscles, there will be an outpouching in between these two muscles known as Zenkers diverticulum and the pulsion diverticulars at most of the places are false diverticulars. It is the traction diverticulars which are mainly true diverticulars as we as I will tell you later as we see in the mid esophageal diverticulars. Okay. So, this is false diverticular also a pulsion diverticular originating from the Killian's dehiscence most commonly as I have already told you in elderly old males or diabetic males the clinical features as we have discussed in the diagram are halitosis regurgitation why halitosis because gradually there is collection of the liquid material or the food material here and later on there is vomiting or regurgitation of this food material, the collected food material which gives rise to bad breath or halitosis and this regurgitation later on leads to pneumonitis or the aspiration pneumonitis followed by lung abscess. So, lung abscess is the most common complication or the long term complication of most common complication. Okay. Now, this is also pre-malignant. Due to this long term collection of food material, there will be inflammation and all and it will lead to development of squamous cell carcinoma of esophagus. Okay. Pre-malignant leads to squamous cell carcinoma. Another pre-malignant condition I have already told you leading to squamous cell carcinoma is achalasia cardia. Okay. So, the barium swallow is the investigation of choice. Barium swallow is the investigation of choice here and the treatment in this case will be the treatment of choice will be cricopharyngeal myotomy cricopharyngeal myotomy with diverticulopexy. Okay. So, we will do a cricomyotomy, cricopharyngeal myotomy we can say and followed by a diverticulopexy. Even if we will do a diverticulectomy, it will not solve the basic pathology. So, the best treatment or the treatment of choice is cricopharyngeal myotomy followed by diverticulopexy. And uh, we, why we are not going for diverticulectomy? Because the majority of these diverticulars are wide mouth. So, even we will go for a diverticulopexy, the content will go back to the esophagus and there is no need to excise this diverticular. Okay. Now, there is a new endoscopic procedure, endoscopic procedure with which we can do stapling and we can join these two walls together okay so we will make something like this with stapling so whatever content will go there will come here so this endoscopic stapling procedure is also known as dolman procedure this is done endoscopically okay 
and there is a connection between diverticula and the esophagus so it is also known as diverticulo esophagostomy this is clear diverticulo esophagostomy or the dolman's procedure now the next topic is the mid esophageal diverticula mid esophageal diverticula i will explain this is chest this is esophagus going in between and whenever there is histoplasmosis or tubercular lymphadenitis there will be a fibrosis and due to this fibrosis there will be a traction on the esophagus which will leads to formation of a mid esophageal diverticula and the diagram will be something like this so they can uh, ask you what is this diverticula mid esophageal diverticula okay which is a kind of a traction diverticula zenkes was a pulsion diverticula it is a traction diverticula in it is a true diverticula it involves all the layers of esophagus all layers involved okay and the treatment is treatment of the primary okay so the primary cause or the root cause is either tuberculosis or histoplasmosis okay so the treatment of the primary pathology is the treatment of choice okay what is the investigation of choice barium swallow okay so this is a diagram in which there is presence of mid esophageal diverticula and epiphrenic diverticula this can also be asked in additional questions okay